Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing episode number two of Unlimited Diaries, which is the series where I break down an Unlimited game that I recently played, just talk through the game for whatever reason that may be. Just it, This is basically a way for me to get y'all more Unlimited content on the channel, because I know y'all enjoy the Unlimited content, and I don't really do it for gameplays very often. Um, so I apologize about that, but, uh, this is mainly the point of this, of this video and of this series is to get y'all more unlimited go content on the YouTube. And this game plays game was really interesting because this dude had a full gambling lineup. Literally every single card in his team, except for Grant Hill was a full gambling card. And Grant Hill is a card that you get from collector level. So you have to spend a bunch of money generally to get him anyway. Um, so basically just a really, really money spent team. Not to say my team exactly isn't, I haven't spent money in a while, but, uh, I do have Hakeem D Rob, LeBron, and SGA. So I have myself a good amount of um, gambling only cards in my lineup, and they're all in my starting lineup. So it's not like I don't have a good gambling team or anything, or some of those good gambling only cards, but this had a full team of them. He had like literally every single one. So I think this was an interesting game and I thought it'd be interesting to show y'all. And yeah, before we hop in, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. We'd really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. This is definitely going to be longer than a standard juicy video, uh, as is generally the case with these unlimited type videos first possession of the game he ran straight to the corner and tried to fade with sg with uh, penny hardaway and immediately i knew this was gonna be a sweaty game he's got in his starting lineup he's got penny opal kobe opal lebron uh, Giannis, and wilt so amazing really good all gambling team and his bench is basically the exact same which we will see later as well coming behind the back of kobe this dude was not a bad player either he had a pretty solid record 50 something and 30 something maybe i think was what it was so not too bad um and this wound up being a pretty competitive game so i will say this dude is not a very good dribbler but he also i feel like exemplified relatively well that it's not that important to be a great dribbler to still have skill not not even skill but have successful offense i'm not gonna sit here and say this was the best player I ever played or anything that was a good bump right there he got a couple of those especially early in the game those bumps that just reaches where he reached himself into position it felt like and got a steal out of it so um, pretty good defense here, though, by me, to be honest. Guarding the back door with Akeem. I don't know why he jumped the first time. That was him jumping. Second time was me jumping. Shoots a pretty long post fade and misses it, and we will live with that. Uh, I run the court. SJ gets to the rim, gets himself standing, and there you go. Five to four lead. Um, pretty balanced, pretty even start to this game. The thing about this lineup is just it's so athletic and versatile. Every card does everything so well. I will say, by the way, as much as I like SGA as a card, there was a while there where I was using Sidney Moncrief over him, and I almost kind of want to go back to that because Moncrief plays so much more defense. But nice moving fade there. Kobe knocks that one down, and he is. We are up six to five. I'm not going to lie, this game was right after. Uh, a game that I had lost, which was the first loss that I'd had in a while, but he just made a heavy and one driving to the rim layup. Love that. Free three points that he should not have gotten, but you know what? It is what it is. Bad shot selection gets rewarded with three points. Sometimes that's how that goes. Um, so we unfortunately lose the lead on that, but Kobe coming off of this, dragging back, same side burst. Very nice movement getting downhill, but unfortunately my spacing isn't absolutely phenomenal. We burst downhill with Braun as well, getting to the rim there, and... Not able to get it to go on that one either. His Kobe was underneath the rim and prevented my green road from being very big at all. So not able to score on either on that possession at all, which is unfortunate. Um, he drags back here and I honestly did not mean to leave Giannis wide open in the corner. That was a mistake. I was walked too far away from him with D-Rob and it is what it is. Um, he scores, knocks down the three and takes advantage of it. And it's a good bucket for him. Kobe bursts, gets wide open for three. He didn't step high enough with Penny. He slid his Kobe out of position and really nice shot there. Kobe knocks that one down and we take an 11 to nine lead. Now, X switching out the corner right there. You see LeBron switch on to Penny really effectively there to try to create that mismatch, try to create that stop. Uh, we click on to SGA. SGA's walling up Bron, just walling up. I didn't mean to jump. I didn't jump the first time. The CPU jumped. I recommend not jumping there, but it winds up working out regardless. Uh, we push the ball up the court and D-Rob refuses to fill the lane. I don't understand that. It took him forever to fill the lane. I was complaining about this on stream when that happened. Um, I don't understand why he did not fill there. Uh, Would have had a pretty easy dunk. And then we turned the ball over off the inbounds pass. And that is honestly kind of annoying to me because I should have, I think, a pretty free transition dunk if D-Rob had just run ahead in transition, but he didn't run the lane. Um, Co or Penny runs right past Kobe and gets to the rim as well. And there you go. Down four. Uh, haven't seen my opponent hit a dribble move yet, and yet we're losing by four. That's one thing, though. If you know how to manage screens a little bit and maneuver a little bit, you don't have to be a great dribbler to have success. Like, I dribble a lot, and I'd say I'm a pretty solid dribbler, um, but... 
you don't have to be a top tier dribbler or anything like that to have success in Unlimited. And I think that is something that is good to know. He reaches himself into a steal again. That was like, that did not feel to me like a position of him getting himself in position for a bump and then getting the bump. He reached and the reach somehow put him in position to get the bump is what happened there, which is very strange. And I don't really know what to do about it, to be honest, but it is what it is. And immediately <laughs> Hakeem just drops the ball and he gets it back. I just like, I, I don't know what's going on in this game so far. I'm just kind of getting unlucky, to be honest. Uh, Wilt. I switched. I tried to switch Akeem onto Wilt and get Kobe out to Braun, but I didn't get it. I get him out there fast enough. He threw the right pass, and he knocked down the three with Braun. Good shot by him. That wasn't great defense by me. Uh, but I will say this has kind of been a little bit of an unlucky game so far, it feels like. So to this point, anyway, Kobe gets downhill, gets a little bit of an angle. When you get an open rim, even if there's a defender in the general vicinity, kind of like Wilt was there, if you can get an open look at the rim, the stick dunk will 95 times out of 100 be a pretty big green window, even if you wind up getting into some sort of contact is animation so the stick dunk can be really really useful and it's a very honestly skillful way to finish at the rim and guarantee that you get dunks if you're able to trigger it you're not always going to get a dunk when you try to stick duck and if there is a defender directly under the rim really good guarding position generally um you will get a very small green window and occasionally you'll get a small green window for no reason it'll feel like it should be a wide open and it should be a green bigger green window and it's not and so occasionally you won't get a big green window so it's kind of annoying and it can be a little touchy but in general it's a nice feature and it's pretty good he didn't get a great fade animation with there with sga did didn't get quite as much separation as he wanted so it wasn't a wide open and it just wasn't the animation he was looking for but really nice burst there getting downhill with d rob off of that kobe burst code d rob catches takes a couple dribbles and dunks the ball and we cut it back to a three-point game and honestly i feel like i'm playing pretty well so far as y'all can see though looking at this dude's team i mean off the bench he's got sga um who obviously i have as well but that's coming off his bench clay thompson i have do not have and he has him coming off his bench he's then got grant hill akeem and d rob which is my starting back or my starting front court he's got them off the bench so definitely a very very tough game uh in terms of team matchup not that my team is bad because i have a very good team but he's got opal kobe not ping diamond he's got all the galaxy opals that i have in addition to a bunch of other galaxy opals as well on his team nice quick slip there with lebron quick slipping can be really effective if somebody, especially if somebody's playing pretty aggressively and trying to get high on screens he was high on the last screen and reached and fouled and then he was playing pretty aggressively on the screen so i quick slipped the next screen to uh, get my screener going downhill for a dunk and it worked perfectly he runs back and forth just left right without actually doing a dribble move and gets himself a bucket there which is really annoying kobe good patience waited for his d-rob to kind of clear out the to vacate the room because the only way he would have been able to halfway guard that is if he x switched it and if he tried to switch it or just come over and rotate it himself it would have given something open if i threw the pass properly but i had good patience he went back to the corner i take my dunk and not a terrible quarter whatsoever only down by one so uh was it the best quarter of my career as a 2k player absolutely not but uh not the worst quarter in the world only down by one dragon back bursting here he doesn't click on ball in time plain and simple and hakeem sets a really nice screen gets sga into the screen we burst perfectly off of it very nice timing burst right there and kobe gets himself an easy quick stop three so really nice bucket um on that first possession of the second quarter stepping up here honestly i don't hate this matchup he has put lebron at the four and um uh, so that he can have grant hill lebron Grant Hill, LeBron, Clay, and Penny, or sorry, and SGA on the court all together. Really nice X switch out the corner there again by D Rob, honestly. Um, put Kobe on LeBron there, but that's not a terrible mismatch by any means. And he's forced to put up a tough shot, and that's honestly what I would consider really, really good defense on that possession. I X switched that properly. There's certain possessions like that in this game that are really, really good, and then there's certain possessions that are like, and then like that, for example. This type of possession pisses me off because this should not happen. This is 2K's game coding not working the way that it should. Because look, okay, here. I throw it to Kobe. Kobe shouldn't be cutting in the first place here. He should be staying here. If he just spots up here and stays here where he is standing still, a split second before, we're going to go back. I know this is making the video longer, but I want to make this point. There's so many of these possessions each game that you could that you could nitpick and complain about, but I just want to make the point and nitpick and complain about this one person specifically because it's a great example. So everybody's filling properly. I have great space, right? The spacing is proper. His clay is in the backcourt. It's a five on four. I have a mismatch, and if everybody fills to their hash and their corners i'm gonna have something open because of how far clay is back in the play so i do a great job look what's open kobe is open he is filling to the hash he is going to be wide open for a catch and shoot three i throw the pass he's moving before i throw the pass towards the middle of the court why is he doing that i have no clue 
but that's what he's doing. Um, so he moves himself out of an open three, but it doesn't matter because we're still going to have an open three, right? Even though Kobe dis moved himself out of an open three, LeBron is still going to be wide open if he just moves one more step out of the way that he's running and just finishes right here. Stands on this hash. He's going to catch, shoot, wide open three. But what happens? He catches the ball, feet move inside the three-point line, and he gets a freaking load up. So Grant Hill gets a contest, and I get a slowdown of the jump shot. Why? I, I don't get it. And stuff like that happens all the time. And it doesn't just happen for me, but it is something that annoys the crap out of me as a basketball fan who understands the way that basketball is supposed to work, at least it, like the core basics. I'm not asking this game to be the most advanced, impressive game of all time, but the things that they've done well in the past don't do a worse job of now. That's kind of my point anyway, my frustration. That was a questionable pass right there, to be honest, but it winds up working out. Kobe, good burst, open to Braun. Braun in the corner again. He closed out well enough with SGA that time. Braun spotted up in the right place that time. He just, he did a better job of closing out. That time it was contested. So burst in here, Kobe push cross. I have a little bit of a mismatch here, D-Rob and I backdoor D-Rob for a standing dunk on Clay. That right there is the first use of the backdoor you see by me in this game, and it's used to attack a mismatch. That is generally where I use the backdoor cut the most. I'm not out here trying to cheese people with backdoors or anything like that, unless I am just incredibly boxed on offense, in which case sometimes I might. But um, that's really good defense by SGA. He's in good defensive position. He makes the layup anyway. So I mean, at this point, I'm just kind of like... What is going on this game, honestly? I feel like I'm kind of getting a little unlucky, but Kobe's hooping. He's got sharp shit and take, and we're up by two still, even with kind of all the BS that's going on. So he tries to switch this, and I get inside, and that's like not a terrible... Uh, he got a pretty good wall up there. I don't know. I probably shouldn't have gone up with that. I thought I was going to get a standing dunk, but I did not. Um, kind of annoying, but what are you going to do? Good defense there, and Braun gets called for a foul. That animation is half, to, half the time it's a foul, half the time it's not. That time it was. He went one for two from the free throw line, though, so at least that's a positive. But it does kind of feel like the 50-50 RNG stuff isn't really going my way this game, uh, which is kind of annoying. I tried to fast stop there with Kobe as well, but there you go. You, the decision-making right there, that was totally intentional. As soon as I saw him reach with clay he reached early as soon as i saw him reach i threw the pass to kobe instantly because i knew he was going to reach himself past kobe kobe could catch the ball in front of clay and just catch and shoot smoothly that's exactly what we did we just catch shoot and knock down the shot getting ourselves an easy three ball because he was a little bit too aggressive there and um all of a sudden the game is like really slow this is like slow motion why is Am I watching in a slower speed or something? Oh, I am watching in 0.75 somehow. I don't even know how I did that, but apparently I was watching in 0.75. He fouls me there. His first team foul in the second quarter, and I guess I wound up getting a dunk on that possession to make it a five, sorry, four point game. Um, but mismatches kind of here, um, but look at Braun coming down and reaching in and making a play. You love to see it. We got a transition take foul, and that's going to be free throws as well, and all of a sudden, kind of have an opportunity to extend the lead a little bit, which is my, my thought process in this moment right here, at least in a competitive game, would be very much a, okay, let's build the lead here a little bit, because we got a five-point lead, and we have ball. Got to make sure we get points this possession. Don't have to do anything flashy. Don't have to do anything special. Yes, you got sharp take, but you just got to get points. I ran around with Braun, and I was going to try to get to the rim for a stick dunk, but there wasn't really the space that again like why is lebron cutting the space again does not make a lot of sense to me in a, on possession like that uh we wound up getting a wide open shot although again he spots up for a two not a three again like what are we doing so many multiple mistakes on that one possession but uh the spacing there by braun cutting there earlier in the possession prevents us from having the opportunity to get a free dunk on the slip of D-Rob. Um, just a strange, like, things do not quite work the way that I want them to uh, in this game sometimes, but really good defense so far this possession. You can see I'm rotating all over the court and just trying to create a little bit less of a driving lane for Grant Hill, trying to maneuver screens, trying to click on and off ball and make plays. And we do an amazing job of it on that defensive possession. Really just cut off everything. He never had any sort of lane whatsoever to get to the basket or anything. But then Kobe does that. I, like, I, I do not have explanations for some of the things that I see in this game sometimes. Can I just pause this game? What is this? Why is a pick and pop popping past half court? I don't care if he's setting the screen high. If you are setting the screen and then popping, pop here. This animation, for some reason, sucks him six feet further back than he should have popped. It just doesn't make sense at all. It, the game does stupid stuff like that. And this half has really been a great example of the game doing stupid stuff like that. There's been a, several examples of just 
like the CPU doing dumb stuff and it's annoying and it completely kills all my momentum because I have a lot of momentum built up and then all of a sudden really stupid turnover turns into points for him on the other end and he quickly cuts it instead of a chance to nine to ten to point game it's a five point game and it's just really annoying that was a sketchy pass I kind of forced it in there LeBron could have played that honestly he probably should have had a steal there he didn't get the steal though the game is not great when it comes to lane animations which is another thing honestly like how is that not improved at this point bad defense by me though I, I i walked too far back with sga there i did that with the rob earlier in the game on Giannis, and then i do it with sga there on penny just didn't do a good enough job of staying up there and contesting and give up a wide open three so that's on me same side burst reverse the same side burst dribble drive with d rob kind of caged here i've had my starters in for a while they've played the whole first half at this point so they're definitely pretty tired i wasn't even paying attention honestly but nice little push cross nice little back door i used the back door but again because i was caged there i'm not gonna lie it's kind of the only time i really look to use the back door is mismatches or when i am just absolutely caged on offensive possession and that's possession we were boxed so we did a good job using that diagonal push cross to reject and like create some space while we backdoored away from it so um i thought that was pretty good and it wound up getting us a buck it. LeBron drives and gets contested and blocked somehow that looked like a foul honestly but that's a nice animation for me unfortunately that is not a nice animation for me probably a bad pass to be fair but definitely not a nice animation for me regardless and unfortunately uh we do not get a chance to extend our lead at the end of the first half but he doesn't score either so it's a six point game at halftime and I'm not thinking this is a bad game that I've played to be fair I have played better than my opponents and I deserve to be up honestly in my opinion probably more than six but getting inside with SGA we go up for a standing I need to make subs honestly is, is the problem here I haven't subbed and I forgot to sub for a while. He walks back with Kobe and gets himself a three ball. And it's just like, I missed a dunk. It's a five point swing right there. Missed that dunk. He's not going to get the opportunity for a transition three if I don't miss that dunk. So five point swing right there again. Uh, and there's just been, there's a lot of that in the game that, you, that you'll notice happens. Uh, and yes, I've gotten a couple favorable animations, but not as many as certain things that have just gone incorrectly but we finally get to where we're subbing in our bench took long enough honestly um and still have our starters out here though he should have shot that with penny he waited too long and then he threw the slip and d rob was inside of Giannis. So d rob had good position there to get a stop i overplayed that with kobe a little bit trying to get around that screen um but it winds up recovering into position really well and he is contested at the end by kobe but still greens it because he got me stuck at the end of the possession that frustrates me because i played 23 seconds of great defense and then i got stuck at the very end of the possession which is not a very skillful way to score and it kind of annoys me but it is what it is dump it down to hakeem mismatch there size wise and we do get the standing dunk that i would expect in that position and hakeem knocks it down retakes a four-point lead this is just one of those games he's gotten two three-pointers in this first in this first in the start of the third quarter both of them Maybe not the most deserving um, three balls. And then I have missed a dunk already. So that's kind of an eight-point swing right there to start off the third quarter. He misses wide open. He's got to green that. And then he fouls me again. He does very much. He's done this a few times. I have two twin transition take fouls. And he's gotten a couple of steals like that in transition as well. He's very much clicking on and reaching after I get a rebound, um, which has gotten him a couple of steals. But it has also produced a couple of transition take fouls and now with a five point lead with the ball again the opportunity has arisen very similarly to the, to the first half where i have an opportunity to try to extend the lead a little bit and just make a, a little bit of a dent and you know what it leads with a to a hakeem jump shot just like in the first half it did the first half hakeem didn't spot up for three that time he did really nice pick and pop there and hakeem knocks it down a really nice rotation defensively as well here honestly i think i did a pretty good job defensively i helped down with hakeem a little bit leads uh wilt into the paint and then he gets a really good stand i kind of jumped myself out of position there if I wall that up maybe I get a stop but I didn't think that was terrible defense um and I thought it was pretty good until the end there where I jumped but it is what it is uh we do have a little bit of a crab there Kakeem was open I should have hit him I didn't realize what was going to reach that high and I threw it to SGA to reset the offense I should have just kicked it to the corner to Hakeem you might have an open three got a mismatch here size wise gonna try to post spin it uh it's, it's just physically I mean uh, Penny's a big dude and he's doing a good job defensively but D-Rob scraps and claws and finishes at the rim and we take an eight point lead Good job of scrapping our way to a bucket there. Took advantage of a size mismatch. It wasn't the prettiest possession in the world by any means, but you know what? Points are points, and it gets the job done. We stepped up that time much better with Diab. Didn't give up another wide open catch and shoot corner three for Giannis. Refusing to get stuck there either. He's trying to get me stuck on Wilt. Running around off the hash and shooting a contested three ball. That's really good defense there. Um, again, we're seeing no dribble moves, so I feel like I should be able to get more stops, honestly, than I am. Good dump down slip and one Akeem. And at this point, an 11 point lead after the free throw. I'm feeling very very, very comfortable and confident in this game and in all honesty this game yes it gets close at the end but 
I think this game, this quarter especially, is a really good example of like the ability to extend a game, even a game that you're not exactly getting super lucky in, but just to make the right plays and be smart. And I think we do a really good job of that here in building this lead. Now, in letting him back in the game in the end of the fourth quarter, maybe not quite so much. We'll talk about that when we get there. But for the time being, I think I'm playing very well, very safe defense, not trying to get over aggressive, not trying to create too many plays or anything. He spends jumpers that time and does knock that one down. I was a little bit off ball there. That's on me. If I had clicked on ball quicker and been able to click on a contest, I maybe get a stop there. But D Rob has an open lane, gets inside, gets himself an easy standing dunk. Kobe is just too low there and he's also too small. Another easy standing, just trying to be smart offensively, taking what I can get, not being insanely overly aggressive, uh, really on either end of the court, to be honest, not trying to over rotate and give up threes, just trying to be pretty safe. And that's really good defensive position there by Akeem. Do a good job there as well with D Rob, but he drags it back and pulls into a three ball, which is kind of unfortunate because I felt like that was an awful defense, but I did play too low there with D-Rob and he pulled it back with LeBron got himself a three ball cuts it back to an eight point game a little unfortunate because I did feel like I was right there to pull it away um, I have decided by the way generally I put Chris Steps Porzingis in off my bench we get a wide open three there with Kobe and drill it very easy shot good shot right there rotated up towards the hash uh, and Kobe by the way does have sharp shooting takeover but by the way I made a big mistake here N having run my starters this whole quarter and this whole game not done my subs until literally just now is is not not good should not be doing that really nice x switch there to get Kobe switched on to Kobe and to pick up the dribble drive we do a really good job defensively uh of switching that and then doing a pretty good job defensively so far of like guarding back doors and stuff here I'm clicking off and trying to guard that was unbelievable defense that was an elite level competitive level bait and I don't think many people are going to notice that. And they, that might seem like a lucky play. That was not a lucky play. That was an intentional play, and it was very subtle. And I'm going to go back and showcase what I did real quickly. So, as y'all can see, he's a little bit caged offensively. I'm kind of thinking trying to get a stop. The idea is trying to like get, be a little, just a teensy bit aggressive, but not really. I don't want to overplay anything. So, you see, I'll click on to Akeem right here. When I click on to Akeem, which is after this one right there. I pull Akeem towards the middle of the court a little bit just to come over and provide a little bit of rim pressure plus to maybe try to leave this corner deceptively open because Wilt isn't a great shooter. But then look who I click on to after Akeem and where I move. I click on to D-Rob and then I shift myself just slightly. I take one step this way to try to get into this passing lane and then I reach X and I hit X at the perfect time. Give me a steal. I baited that lane absolutely perfectly. Couldn't get that pass through, but also if he throws the pass to LeBron, I am close enough here before his body turns and everything where when I'm reaching, it'll just reach me towards Braun and I'll move up this way and be able to play this. I can play both lanes there absolutely perfectly. That was phenomenal elite level defense right there by me in all honesty. And I honestly wanted to pat my back on that. Just showcase that defensive possession because that was phenomenal. He reaches in, gets a foul with SGA, 36 seconds left in the uh, third quarter. And I finally get my bench in, which unfortunately, Unfortunately, honestly, getting my bench in this late was not an ideal part of this game. Honestly, missing wide open shots with Austin Reeves in one of the best fades in the game is also not an ideal part of this game. Missing that, that's another five-point swing. I green that three ball wide open right there with, with a fully st full stamina Reeves. We're up 15 or 14, but instead we're up nine. Uh, corner three, Andrew Wiggins knocks it down, makes it back to a 12-point game. To this point, especially in this third quarter, I think I've played really well. Maybe not perfectly. There are some things I probably could have done better. Uh, but overall, it's been a really good third quarter. Honestly, second quarter wasn't bad either. I was just getting, I would say, mostly unlucky. But really good defense there. Again, I do a great job of just staying in front, contesting. Don't have to be too aggressive. For the most part, I'm not trying to like bait lanes and steal and rotate too much. I don't try to play overly aggressively, especially when I do build a lead. But occasionally, you do. I'll, I'll try to throw the slight bait in there. But my baits aren't super duper overly aggressive most of the time unless I'm losing. If I'm losing, I'll get pretty aggressive sometimes. But in general, especially with a lead, I'm not going to be overly aggressive defensively. And I think that's what's helped me to build this lead is I've done a really good job of being solid straight up defense. Only 45 points allowed through three quarters. Now, does that fall apart a little bit towards the fourth quarter? Yes. Uh, this fourth quarter is not a great example of how to... Um, how to win a game comfortably. Uh, we for force a missed first possession too. I mean, at this point, we're up a lot. Uh, and I am in great position and Wiggins open three ball, but I miss it again. That's two opens that I've missed back to back with my bench. I missed wide open with Reeves and then I miss open with him and he gets a three ball with Clay. That's a huge swing right there. Those missed shots, this game would have already been over, legitimately. He got five points off of my two missed threes there. If I make those and he doesn't get that four, five points, that's an 11 point swing. I'm up 20 instead of up nine. 
if I make those shots. That's how big of a difference those two missed shots basically made. Even if he does score on one of those possessions, I make the, both those shots. I'm still up, what, 17? Something like that. Really good defense there by him with the Deerob, though. He clicked on and it hit X at the perfect time to play the passing lane. Good job. And he cuts it to a five-point game. And you see, bad execution, honestly. And then that... That was unlucky. I don't know why Wiggins came so far down that he stepped out of bounds. That was really unlucky. But all of a sudden, what could easily be a 15, 17 point game is a seven point game and he has the ball. So obviously not the way that you want the fourth quarter to start out and not the way that you want to execute, but he kind of forces up a three ball. It was open, but he got to slow down because the contest system in this game is absolutely broken. And so Wig Worthy drives downhill, gets inside. Spacing is okay there, and uh, AD does actually stay on his hash and space the floor properly and get himself a wide open three out of it. Very nice. Cuts, pushes it back to a 10-point game, which is pretty important because uh, I kind of let him get back into the game there by my mistakes, um, not making my shots mainly. But good defense here with Worthy. I did a good job of helping over and contesting, but then Worthy switched onto Akeem. I don't hate that matchup that much, though, so I'm not that worried about it. Um, and then we help over with Wiggins. I hit X there to try to play that ball and strip it, and we did get a strip animation, but unfortunately, it does remain his ball, which isn't ideal, because I did think that was pretty good defense, and I thought I was in a pretty good lane that place there, and I stripped at the right time, and I uh, just didn't wind up executing and getting the stop, and unfortunately, he immediately comes out and gets himself a little bit of a cheesy backdoor for a bucket. Unfortunate. Was just a step behind that. It's my bad. Uh, behind the back here, with Reeves attack the Ram Reeves gets inside I had the shot there if I would just shot it more with more confidence but I didn't which is on me I reset the ball up top to Reeves reject the screen stop pop great move great shot Austin Reeves drills it 11 point game with three minutes left at this point it's like the game is over right well, it can't quite be that easy always because I kind of be doing stupid stuff. Um, and don't be doing stupid stuff like me. The good dump down there, I jumped with the Tyson. I didn't need to. Uh, but yeah, one thing I did mention, by the way, earlier, and I didn't really finish that thought. I'm using AD and Tyson off the bench of this game because he's got really fast athletic bigs. Wilt, Akeem, D-Rob, and Giannis as his bigs, all like 90 plus, super athletic, super good, all around bigs. He's got the gambling bigs. That's why Tyson Chandler and AD are really good options, though, is because they have the speed and the versatility athletically and defensively to really stick with and guard these guys like ad and tyson chandler are not as good overall as a as a front court as his front court is of Giannis and wilt or d rob and akeem or whatever um any combination of those two guys of those four guys is going to be better than my than my two guys but still my two guys can compete they'll get the job done they're athletic guys who can dunk the ball at a high level um can shoot wide open at a high level as well and versatilely defend and they're good cards and that right there is valuable but he does a good job defensively here honestly i haven't gotten anything open at all five seconds left in the possession i try to backdoor lebron or worthy there and i get inside but unfortunately i stick dunked in everything and i get blocked on the dunk that was a smart stick dunk but i am blocking that that salvages this game or at least gives him an opportunity here because nine point game with two minutes left is, I mean, obviously, it's not super easy, but 11-point game with two minutes left is probably undoable. Uh, or not totally undoable, but it's basically undoable. Um, and here, he's just... I, one thing I will say, a lot of run around in circles. Like, a lot of run around in circles. Not a lot of hitting a dribble move, doing a drag back, doing a escape, doing anything. He did, he, and standing dunk there on Wiggins. Like, he gets a really good standing dunk animation, considering Wiggins was actually between Kobe and the basket there, and he still got the dunk animation. Like, this dude was definitely lucky. But I also did not execute as well as I should have down the stretch of this game. Got inside with Tyson. Kind of a questionable shot. Not able to put it in. I don't. I didn't hate that. I feel like I should have probably gotten a dunk, but I didn't. I fade again with Wiggins, and that's multiple open fades that I missed on that possession as well. Like, that's three or four open shots that I miss on this one possession. Oh, yeah, no, because I faded twice. Second fade, same thing. I should have laid on that one. Uh, Wiggins fade, I need to be going not quite as far backwards, I think, to, make, to execute that a little bit easier, but... Not a great job of executing at all, because now it's a four-point game. Like, all mostly on me. Missing shots, um, and then, like, just giving stuff up for free on defense. Like, this has just been a really bad fourth quarter. After a great game, for the most part, uh, I should have hit Reeves earlier there. I probably could have passed, let it towards the top, and he would have had a pretty easy uh, open three ball, but I threw it to D-Rob instead. Not the greatest shot decision of all time, I guess. Then this happens. Uh, I think it's right here um, is where he yes right here he just like takes the his CPU Penny Hardaway just takes the ball out of my hand and the game's like all right here you go three free points I try to get there too and I do get a contest but he gets the offensive rebound my whole team is in the paint I literally have four players in the paint why do I have four players in the paint I couldn't tell you literally all four of my well four of my five players are in the paint what are we doing what is this spacing why is this the game sense like what 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 about the game mechanics makes that happen? I don't get it. But anyway, um, he gets a wide up a three out of with Kobe, and all of a sudden, it's a one-point game. So, 
not ideal at all. This is the, this is how you throw. This is a master class on how you throw a easy win and a big lead. He fouls me here. Um, we're going to go to the free throw line with an opportunity to make a couple free throws and finish out this game. And Wiggins is a good free throw shooter, so should be able to execute and knock both these down. First one is up 99%. Does go down. Very, very good. His second one is also up and 99% uh, as well. Does go down. So very good. Very high percentage free throws. Makes them both. Um, SGA is in good defensive position, and Penny just shoves him off and runs around him. I don't know. He was, he was in great defensive position. Then he just runs right around him. So apparently not. It is what it is. SGA gets the ball in bounds. I'm just going to be safe here. Be smart. Go wide. Don't get bumped. Basically, don't get bumped is the secret here. Mistake by him. He comes too high. He comes too high. So I go immediately. As soon as I see him click this far off of Giannis, I know if I can get him to like take one more step or be too high. And there you go. He's too high at this point. I know I can slip that pass behind them. And there you go. Free standing dunk. Easy bucket right there. Getting points. Very important to get points there. That was crucial because he did have enough time there where he didn't actually need to foul. Um, but getting points there is crucial. And now it's a can he get a three ball off? And this right here is where it's really useful to have the skill of dribbling. This dude has been able to run around in circles and have pretty effective offense for most of this game. To be fair, I've kind of BS'd my way into letting him back in this game. I could easily be up 15 points and instead I'm up three. But this is where learning how to dribble is important. He doesn't know what to do to get a bucket here. He doesn't have really much of an offensive strategy. He just clicks and runs around and clicks and runs around and runs around and then runs, runs back the other way and winds up somehow getting a decent shot out of it. I don't know what SGA was doing this game defensively. He was just not trying to stay in good position, but he misses the shot. We get a little bit of a contest and we wind up winning the game. Probably should not have been that close. It definitely should not have been that close. Honestly, I kind of gave a master pass on how to throw a game, um, but it was definitely a strange game. One where I didn't execute my best for sure, um, but yet still was able to come away with a win against a full gambling lineup. And one of the main things that I do think I want y'all to take away from this lineup is, or from this game is, you don't need every single gambling card to be able to complete. I am of the benefit of having a few of them, but I think honestly, if you are just able to get athletic bigs who can move their feet, guys like AD and Tyson and Moses and Jaron and guys like that counter these gambling bigs really, really well uh, and can be very good like no money spent options to contest those gambling only bigs if you can get those types of cards it'll really help you out and then you can definitely still there's a lot of skill to offense as well that can be unlocked with learning how to dribble so with that being said i know this is a very long video but i hope y'all do enjoy the 30 minute unlimited breakdown and if you did enjoy the video make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace